Welcome everyone, here is how you insert a SIM card in Google Pixel 7. To those wondering about dual SIM, dual SIM is supported on Pixel 7, however it is only one physical SIM card and then you need to, for a second SIM card, use eSIM. So I'm going to show you how to insert the SIM card, physical, and then how to activate the eSIM. So inserting the physical SIM card, the first step you just want to open up the box of the Pixel 7. I'll cover what you can do if you don't have the box. From here, you're going to see at the top this paper thing. just want to remove this. And you should see this Google. Flip it around. And here is the SIM ejector tool. So you're going to fold these two together. And you're going to slowly push up and out and now we have the sim eject tool right here if you don't have the sim eject tool maybe it's not on the box or you don't have the box then you can use a sim eject tool from another device this is from an iphone you can use a pin or you can use a paper clip which you bend out so you have a thin side just like this once you have done that you're going to find the left hand side of the Google Pixel 7. To verify you are looking at the right side, make sure the camera is at the top. You can see right here, and then you're gonna find the side of the Pixel 7. And you're gonna get the thin end of your SIM ejector tool. Okay, so just get the thin end, and you just want to insert it into the hole, okay, like so. And then once it's inserted, you're gonna push down with a little force, push, 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 and you should feel a little click and you should also see the SIM card tray has slightly ejected. So you just use your fingernail to slowly pull out the SIM card tray. Now, if you accidentally inserted the SIM eject tool into these holes that you see in the Pixel 7, uh, Google knows that some people may do that by accident. So you're not gonna damage the Google. Uh, if you're wondering, this is microphone holes. So, you know, if you speak, the microphone can hear you. So from here, we're gonna get the SIM card tray and you wanna make sure that you see the side, where if I just bring this a little bit closer, you should see that there is some text right there. If you rub your finger, you're gonna notice this metal part is indented as well. This is compared to the other side where the metal is all flush Okay, not indented, so that is the wrong side. The right side is where the metal is indented. And once you have the right side, you're gonna get your SIM card. And you see we have this little groove off to the side here. And we also have a groove on the SIM card tray itself. So we just wanna match the groove with both the SIM card tray and the SIM card itself. Once you've done that, you just want to press down the, uh, the SIM card into the SIM card tray. And you can see if I rub my finger, the SIM card is now flush in the tray itself. So we're now gonna check the Pixel 7. You can see the hole is at the top, okay, it's facing upwards. And so the hole of the SIM card tray also needs to be facing upwards. Once you've done that, you can push the SIM card into the Pixel 7. So from here, you slide down once, slide down again. You can then open up the settings app. And then from here, let's go into network and internet. And you can see the SIM card carrier is showing up. So in order to activate dual SIM, first of all, you will need to tap into internet and you will need to connect to a Wi-Fi network, okay? If you don't do this, then the next step will not work. So I'm now connected like so. There we go, I think that's good to go. So now you're gonna go back to the network and internet area of settings and you're gonna tap on the plus. You're then gonna see here, connect to mobile network and you will see download a SIM instead, add a number using eSIM. 
you're going to tap on this one and then you're going to tap on next so from here it's going to say scan the QR code from network so what you're going to do is you're going to need the QR code which the carrier has provided and you scan that in the frame if you're wondering the QR code looks something like this you can see right here and if you don't have a QR code then you will need to contact your carrier and you will need to ask them for an eSIM QR code if you have a second physical SIM card you can call up the carrier and ask them to convert your physical SIM into eSIM and then they'll send you the QR code most likely you have an email or you have a physical piece of paper with that QR code you place it in the frame and then the eSIM will be activated with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye